Hi everyone, with this video I'm going to try and repair a simple human automatic soap dispenser. It's no longer working, I stick my hand under it, I hear a little bit of pumping action, but nothing happens. Um, to do that, I basically have uh, some pretty simple tools that you can find at any hardware store. You can buy the cheapest ones that you can find. No, no reason to buy the real fancy stuff because um, most, uh, most of these screws are in pretty loosely, so not a whole lot. The most exotic is probably going to be this thing over here. Normal screwdriver, Phillips head, a mini Phillips head or jeweler's Phillips head right here. Get some little itty bitty screws. Um, some tape if you need to. I know, I don't know where we got this. Someone gave it to us, but it's a little bit of duct tape. And the reason is because there's some screws that are deep inside this thing and easy enough to pull out, but when you're trying to put them back in and they're a few inches deep, uh, it's nice to use a little bit of tape on your screwdriver to mount the screw so that you can just stick it in and put that in. And lastly, um, there are some screws that you need to read from the bottom of this thing all the way up to the top. So it needs to be pretty deep, um, which you may find in your, if you have a really long uh, Phillips head screwdriver, great. If you don't, um, you can buy these little tips, sometimes at some of the hardware stores for like a buck or two, and then they mount to a quarter inch, uh, a little ratchet and the uh, ratchet or socket set. And then I just use these extensions right here and that makes it long enough. And you don't actually need the socket itself. Again, a lot of these screws are in there very loosely. Um, this is pretty easy to take apart. Um, if you've taken apart plastic components before, you know that there are a lot of um, plastic components that sort of snap together and they're not made to come apart again and you have to sort of push in the arrows and, and hope that they don't crack. None of these problems with this thing. So as long as you take your time, organize all of your screws and your workstation workstation or workspace to make sure they're not uh, uh, getting disorganized or rolling around you're going to be just fine and in reality if this thing's already broken well if it doesn't work again no no big deal uh, but it's worked for me and so hopefully uh, you'll find some value in this okay, so the first thing we've done is we've taken off the uh, small battery cover, taking out the batteries. We've taken out the two screws right here and all we'll do is take our thumb underneath the rub right here and lightly lift it away. Uh, pretty easy. This shows you basically what's happening here. You have the pump that's using this small rubber belt or Viton uh, belt to turn what is the pumping mechanism. Uh, before we go on, what I'd just like to note is Make sure you know exactly where your little twisty thing, this little line here is pointed so that you can connect this back up when you're starting to put this back together. I've removed the panel here and the two screws right here that are going to connect this bottom base to the rest of the cylinder. And what we're going to do is just pull it, it may take a little bit of effort, pull it gently um, because there are these two, there is the soap tube here that could knock these, although these are pretty sturdy here. The one thing I want to point out is you can notice the top of this chipboard has a few connections here. So when you're putting it back, make sure that it slides into that uh, receptacle right at the top, the black one right there. Let me just show you. And uh, as you're putting it in, um, obviously there are a lot of parts here that could get in the way, so um, take the hose as you need to using your finger just to get it out of the way, and uh, that should slide in very nicely when you're putting it back together. Okay, so now we're taking our jeweler screwdriver and we're unscrewing these and taking these four off so we can remove this bottom piece uh, from the entire canister. Uh, when you put this back on, um, no need to do it super tight. You don't want to risk uh, stripping the plastic threads here or cracking them. Um, but when you do screw them in, um, screw it tight enough so you know that the plastic uh, base here is pushing up against the 
a rubber gasket here so that you know that no water is dripping out. Uh, what you can do before you put everything together is put a little water in here, maybe give it a little bit of an agitation, shake it up and make sure nothing's dripping out. See, it's loose right here, so obviously the water is going to come out. But once it's tight, you should press it right against that rubber gasket and not leak. So before we go any further, I just wanted to show you um, how this thing actually works. I put the battery back in, um, just closed it up, although the base is off. You can notice at the top, the big circle that actually turns it on and off is off, but it really just controls this little potentiometer right here. If you look closely, the line goes up and down. That's the off position. What we're going to do is to twist this counterclockwise this way. So it is now sideways and that turns it on. We're going to watch that as I put the motion sensor, put my hand up to the motion sensor, this turns using this belt here to make sure that this pulley turns to actually pump the f uh, fluids in. So there we go. Looks like my battery might be a little bit slow, but it appears to be working. Okay, so we're going to continue and turn this off again take off this battery cover and continue. You have this little pump mechanism off. Um, there's a rubber gasket here and then also make sure when you pull it off um, there's a little small plastic door or cover on it so make sure you don't lose that. Um, I'm just going to put that over to the side. I've removed the two screws or loosened the ones way 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 deep inside there and uh, in order to do that, I didn't have a screwdriver long enough, so I took one of my ratchet sets here with a quarter inch socket tip and then a bunch of extensions. Stuck them down deep in here and unscrewed these two screws way at the end there. They don't need to be very tight, so it was easy to take off. And now what we're going to do is remove the top right here. Very easy. Everything is in with screws. There's nothing in here uh, if you're familiar with taking away a lot of taking apart a lot of plastic pieces. There's nothing here where there's like some type of snap and arrows so if you pull it out it's going to crack. Um, when you put this together again uh, I'm just going to remind you to make sure you get this little rubber nub and put it back in before you put it back together. Um, then ultimately this is going to come apart very easy again and you're going to have your tube. That's pretty much it. Just sending the soap all the way up to the top. And we're going to use our jeweler's uh, screwdriver to remove these two little screws right here to pull out the whole pump tip assembly. Your job is going to be to make sure it's not clogged anywhere in here, anywhere in the tube itself, but primarily here because it's a really, really small little hole. And so uh, I just ran some water, put it in the hole here, and you can notice there's, if you can tell in this video, there are a few little bubbles here, um, but what we're ultimately going to do is I ran water through it, took the nub with either some tweezers or my fingernails, and you're going to notice here that the bubbles are starting to move out, and you're going to notice that the little spring mechanism at the top as I pull it is moving freely. Right in there, you see it right there, and I can pull it um, nice and easy, and hopefully that makes it really easy for the soap to come out. Uh, so we're going to just try and put this back. I believe, uh, obviously there are probably a few places where this could go wrong, but this, I, I decided, you know what, taking the whole thing apart, let's just take the whole thing apart. So I filled it with a little bit of the Simple Human Soap, just a little bit, so I don't waste it if this didn't work. Press the button. Oop. Have to turn it on. Try to max. Let's see if this works. Oh yeah. 